Hey everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. And um, got another action figure group from uh, Greenfield, uh, Iowa collection. It's a balmy, uh, well it's going to be over 110 today with the heat index. Uh, you've seen this about uh, two weeks uh, after the day I'm filming it, which is, uh, oh gosh, I don't even know what today is. August 25th maybe? Something like that. Uh, anyway, it's a hot one today. Uh, by the time you see this, hopefully the weather will be a little cooler. Uh, we're just going to start digging in here. Here's a, another Dr. Barbie. I had a couple of those. Had an African American and another uh, standard Barbie, I guess it would be. Um, it's not 150 bucks. Uh, I did sell one, I don't know, 30, 25? I can't remember. This one's uh, dented in, it's got some dirt on it. Uh, here's another one, Chad. You're going to have to let me know. I don't know if this is the same one as before, uh, but I know you like it. I know you're a huge. Uh, uh, fan of Sabrina, Melissa Joan Hart. So there you go. This one's actually pretty, pretty decent. It's uh, it's dirty, but it's sealed. Uh, so this one's this one's not too beat up. That's actually in really, really good shape. Uh, so let me know on that one, Chad. Uh, let me see. Oh man, that is heavy. Oh oh, that is not a toy. Well, okay, no comment. So uh, this is a sealed. Uh, set of cards and I'm obviously not going to open it. I had I think three others uh, that were opened. I didn't know this was here. I had no idea. Uh, so <laughs> thankfully it was uh, closed up. We're just going to skip over that. Here's another Gargoyles uh, figure. Uh, uh, Liza Maza. And um, I don't know. I had one other. The Gargoyles themselves seem to do kind of better than the human human groups. This is a neat piece. I had seen this when I first got the collection. I kind of got buried and I was wondering when I was going to get to it. But we got a uh, Friday the 13th Nightmare on Elm Street Special Edition Movie Maniacs uh, 1995 according to that. Um, wow. Just a really, really neat set. I would think that'd be worth a little something anyway. I uh, never had one before. And here, oops, that one got wedged in there. Uh, really smushed box. We got Violator and uh, Commando Spawn, I guess it is. Uh, box is really rough on it though. Just got, maybe didn't get store right, stored right. It's not really super du dirty. Uh, may have been removed, so no seal. Yeah, seals, well, seals just came loose but it's broken here i'm thinking it's still new in the box i think it just whatever happened to it man got uh got smushed up and probably that's what broke the uh the seals on that so uh kind of an exciting box unintentionally exciting box but uh, not a bad box that um freddie and jason one's got to be got to be worth a little bit. Uh, you'll probably see these on my eBay store by the time this uh, this video is uh, uh, released. So you might check that out, Majestic Collectibles on eBay. So those ultra rare, we've seen them before. X-Men Deluxe, we're gonna start with uh, Harry Carey. And uh, I'm throwing these in the $5 box for uh, the flea market. Again, that's, uh, that's coming up quick. You'll see this after the Labor Day flea market. Um, boy, there's just not a lot of value there, even new in the package. Uh, well, more Skybolt uh, from Lightning Comics. They're not bad figures. They're not super great figures. It's just, I don't think anybody knows the, uh, the characters. Uh, it's a gold Helena. Might get a little something out of that. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll do some research, but I'm not expecting a, a much value there. Uh, another, man, this has got to be, what, the sixth, maybe? Uh, X-Men Rogue Deluxe Edition. Um, most of them are beat up, but I have had a couple. Huh? That one's popped on the seal there. Uh, they're not 40 bucks, man. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get, I don't know, I think 15, 12, 10, I don't know. I've got a lot of them and they're not quick sellers. Uh, this one might be a little better. I, I Even with that big collection a few years ago, I don't think, uh, maybe I had one or two of those and they did not they did sell. So some of the figures aren't, uh, aren't too bad on there, but the Rogue one, gosh, I guess nobody just 
bought that figure when it came out because there sure seems to be a lot of uh, new in the box ones hanging around yet. Uh, we're going to go back here, grab this box. Well, <laughs> kind of more of the same, but they've been they've been selling. They haven't been flying out. I'm really shocked. Um, these nine inch, whoops, nine inch uh, Star Trek collector series figures. I haven't sold all of them. They're not flying off the shelf, but uh, you know what? They are actually uh, selling them just a little bit. And um, you know, they're cheap. I don't know, 10 bucks maybe on most of them. Uh, so I'm, I'm encouraged by that. Usually these are, honestly, usually these are a real dud. I have thrown these new in the box in my $5 flea market boxes before. And, and they haven't sold, they haven't. So uh, I haven't had any for a while, and this year I think I've picked up this collection, maybe two more that have uh, have these figures in them, and they're, they're doing okay. I mean, I wouldn't want any more, uh, to be honest with you. But uh, so far, so good. Here's uh, yet another ultra rare, uh, you know better, um, Spawn Alley. Uh, Again, the box the box isn't as rough as the, the last one, but it's still not great. And actually, my that sound you heard, I just threw it in the $5 box for the flea market. So that'll tell you. That'll tell you. I uh, don't know about these. Uh, kind of a, well, they're like a Micro Machines kind of deal. They're little, little play sets and stuff. I uh, don't usually have a lot of interest, but I've not had these for a while and I haven't had very many of them uh, so I'll try it I'll Borg will probably sell I can probably sell the Borg I may lot these up um, maybe put five in a lot and then throw them in my eBay store I don't know I don't know how much yet um, yeah it won't be ten I'm thinking thinking those are probably honestly five dollar a piece figures again but I could be wrong, because I have not had them for a while. Boy, there's a lot of... All right, let me go this route. Star Wars, I had a few, not this this set, but I did have a few other Micro Machines uh, Star Wars spaceship sets. Sold one, uh, again, probably like $8, uh, but I have no market here, even in the $5 boxes, those tend to sit, so I just have to put them out of line by default. Oh, here we got some Jedi. We have uh, Shock T and uh, Luminara and Dooley. Um, they used to be worth a little bit. I don't think they are now, and this one's... Yeah, they're both kind of beat up. But the, the Clone Wars era Jedi usually sell. Uh, might be five bucks, but they sell. There's a really squished Yoda from the same series. And, uh, man, some of those price stickers that are on there have been really stinkers. Oh boy, I'm not seeing uh, Mega Movers. Uh, what is that, Chevy pickup? I think so. And uh, what is it, Wonderful Holiday? Mm, I'm not seeing a whole lot of value on either one of those. And another Holiday, I'll put it with this one. Uh, more Bendums. I do not have much luck other than Boba Fett. Maybe the uh, I did just list the Wicket um, one I got in a previous video. Uh, I did just put that on the um, uh, my eBay store, uh, but I don't have a ton of luck with those. Uh, these are fairly nice. There's been a lot of damage on some of this stuff, but they they have been fairly clean. This is a Low Riders Custom Cruisers. Oof, boy, she's. She's a little rough, but I, you know what? On this type of packaging, it's all plastic, it's all sealed. Uh, I might be okay. I might be able to clean that up. Again, I don't think it's a ton of value, but uh, you know, I do sell those from time to time. Just depends on the car, and uh, you know, the car guys that come through and wherever I'm set up. So another batch of Spawn to uh, nobody's surprise. I just listed. A bunch of these on uh, eBay probably not even 10 minutes ago and then here I got some more and it looks like it's more of the same commando spawn is that series 3 series 2 maybe I can't remember um, it's an earlier one but you know if I can get well I usually list these most of these get listed at 10 uh, on my eBay store and then I send out offers for like eight bucks and 
I don't know, even sealed in the box, there's just so many of them. Uh, Angela sells, oh, <laughs> Yeah, that was actually a fluke, and that one's not mashed up. I think that was Tiffany, though, maybe, uh, not Angela. Anyway, I had one similar as mashed up, um, but still not uh, not a lot of money. Uh, there used to be some really rare color variants uh, on some of these that did, uh, did bring a little bit. Oof, I didn't see that. So that one got, uh, that one got drilled good. Uh, big problem and the bubbles are that size. That's that's what I never liked about them. Even back in the day, uh, I had my retail shop. I did carry these. Um, gosh, there's just no place to put them. They're just a huge, huge product. You know, it took up a ton of space. Uh, another Angela, again, should sell. I might, might keep these local uh, since I have so many of them. I might just throw them in a... Uh, um, well, I don't know. I got a couple shows coming up, uh, Merle Hay Mall, Quad Con, and, and stuff. So I might take them there and see uh, see if they sell before Christmas. Uh, might be on the eBay store. Anyway, just just check because if if uh, if I'm going to put them on the eBay store, they'll be up by the time you see this video. Uh, so that's it. I've actually still got more action figures to go. Uh, check out our other videos, guys, and thanks for watching.